This year is off to a good start. Both GoodNotes and Noteful have released one of their most requested features. And we're excited. Obviously. Hey guys, it's Ropsy, back with Paperless X, a channel dedicated to easing your digital transformation. If you're new to our channel, hello. Make sure you subscribe and turn on your notifications so you know each time we release a new video. And if you're already subscribed, fantastic human, welcome back. We'll start with Noteful because it has the smaller update of the two apps. The app now supports web links. It just underlines them and makes them blue so they're easier to spot. To open it, long press the link to get a prompt to open. It's that simple. We're happy about this because we couldn't do it all along. And while we're still talking about links in Noteful, most of you seem to be having a bit of trouble opening hyperlinks in the app. Like with your links, you have to long press them for a second or two, and it automatically just takes you to the hyperlinked page. It's a bit unusual, but that's how hyperlinks work in Noteful. Now on to good notes. What a pleasant surprise. We finally have audio recording in GoodNotes and it's just another update. They didn't even make a big deal of it. Like make it a version 6 paid update or anything like that. GoodNotes users, how are you feeling? Or should I be asking Notability users? Exciting times. We can now record audio that syncs to both handwritten and typed notes. The app now has a mic icon on the top toolbar that you simply tap to start recording. Your audio recording continues even when you leave the application, which is great. So if you left the application to go into Noteful to do something or check something, your audio recording is not interrupted. We are still to check the longest audio you can record. We'll cover that later on as we study the feature more. Your audio timeline marks the different recording sessions in your audio. And you can also see how long each lasted. It helps with organizing them a bit. The playback itself has some white noise in the background and your Apple Pencil is a bit loud, but a pair of earphones can easily fix that. Your handwriting is not as animated as we're expecting for such a big app. Your text sync is even worse. It makes you appreciate notability just a little bit more. So far, no app has been able to replicate the pixel animation you get in notability. However, any link between audio and notes is greatly appreciated. It's much better than not having sync at all. And we're happy about what GoodNotes has done for us. You can fast forward or rewind the playback 10 seconds at a time. At the moment, we can't skip the audio by tapping the notes, which we hope to see in the future. You can delete the different sessions of your audio. And that is all there is to the new recording feature in GoodNotes. Let us know if you finally make the switch and start using GoodNotes for its audio recording or Noteful because of its web links. We hope you guys liked this video. Give it a thumbs up. If you did, thank you, fantastic human, for watching. See you in the next video.